Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Amy. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today I have a really fun project share for Erica at Scrap Diva Designs and I can't wait to share it with you. It's super cute. I love how it came out. Um, today I made this really adorable box. I used one of Erica's brand new dies from her August release. It's called the um, Heart Rectangle Border Die and that's what I used to make the base of my box. So Look at, I just, I think it came out so super adorable. So this is the base, this is the main part of the box. It's one and a half inches deep. And then this is the bottom. And it's really sturdy. I took three different, I die cut this three times and I layered it together. It was like 65, maybe 60, about 65 pound cardstock, but I wanted it to be really sturdy. And then this is the die that also, this die comes with that set. It's the layering die for the, the large, um, the large heart rectangle. And then there's actually a smaller heart rectangle that is, um, just a little bit smaller than this one. And it also has a layering piece. And um, so I think it just came out so super adorable. So this is the top right here. Um, up here, I've used one of Erica's pennant dies. Um, I didn't have the Halloween pennants, so I just used one of her plain pennants from the Christmas collection. And I just layered them up and then I put the little word boo. And then I put a little pom-pom on the top. I've got a little spider web here, a little bat. And then back here, I've got a rosette. And then I have a chipboard piece from the collection, a little seam binding bow. And then these are the flowers again from her, also from her August release. These are the, the shabby chic flowers. And oh my gosh, I told you guys last time, I absolutely love this flower dye. It is so cute, it's so simple. You could do more to it, but I just really don't think they need more. I think that this these flowers are adorable. Um, they came together so quick, and I just used 65 pound cardstock for them, and I just matched it to my collection, but um, I think they're absolutely beautiful. And then I put another little pom-pom here, and then I popped a little another little bat over here, and I've got the cute um, pattern paper here. You can see the little trick-or-treaters. So that is the front of my box. And then this is the inside. Um, I did line um, both the top and the bottom. I just used the layering piece um, that comes with the collection and I just put those inside. And then this is the side. I didn't line the sides of this box. I just, I only lined the, the sides of the top piece. And that is it. So that is my project share for today. I think it came out so super adorable. I love this die. This is definitely a die that I can see. My, I, I will be using this die a lot. Um, and I think it was perfect for making, for making a box. Anyway, I wanna thank everybody for stopping by today to spend some time with me. I hope that you've seen something that's inspired you to um, get your crafts out and make something as well, maybe this weekend. Um, so. I want to thank you again for coming by and every all the dies that I've used today will be listed in the drop down box like always so pop on over and see if there's something that you'd like to pick up to create with too. Anyway, thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.